What's up guys? So uh, today is a beautiful fall day, so I want to film outside here. Uh, I say this all the time, but I feel extremely blessed where I live. I love the woods. I've lived in the woods my entire life uh, for the first, I guess, a little more than a third, I suppose, or a little less than a half, whatever. <laughs> I enjoyed the woods of uh, North New Jersey and across an imaginary line. Now I enjoy the woods of Pennsylvania, but uh, it is, it's just beautiful. Also, um, I don't have heat in my house. I haven't had heat <laughs> for probably eight months because there's a problem, but uh, I'm getting that fixed hopefully this week because it's been freezing, uh, especially at night and early morning. <clears throat> so as of right now, it's actually warmer out here being maybe, I don't know, 58 degrees, something like that. And, you know, with standing in the sun, it feels great. So anyway, all that aside, let's get right to the meat and potatoes here. I have a Going Gear Club. All right, so here's today's uh, EDC. This is one of uh, two different versions of this uh, SRM knife. I love these things. Can't wait to talk about it a little bit. Um, been using these a lot, but this is essentially to me like a budget, you know, bug out in a lot of different ways. But anyway, that's what I happen to have today. Let's go ahead and break this open. We got okay. Well, there's a little uh, durability test on that knife. Hang on, <clears throat> All right. still kicking. Although I just launched it across the driveway. Let me put that in my pocket. Shame on me, knife abuse. All right, so we have a Best Tech knife, huge fan of Best Tech. Yeah, it looks like a flashlight from Wubin. We have a multi-purpose tool from Financial Tool. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's a Night Eyes product, but it's called the Financial Tool. Okay, so it's a wallet. Wallet with a big bottle opener in the middle. Does not look very exciting. Everything else looks awesome. And we got another uh, Going Gear patch. I love the, or excuse me, patch, uh, decal. Love these decals. And I do like that they change it up. All right, so let's get this guy out of the way because this is not exciting at all, at least to me. I know everyone's got their own thing going on. You know, I have my big fat George Costanza wallet. Uh, I do like minimalist wallets only when I'm traveling, but I have plenty. But who knows? Maybe something will grow on me. So this looks like a just, you know, as I mentioned, it says 10 in one tool, but essentially it is just a minimalist wallet with the two pieces and like this band that's on it. Let's see. Let's see what else they have going on here. So, flathead screwdriver, standard wrenches, all right, nail removing notch, uh, Phillips screwdriver, tape cutter, scraper, bottle opener, metric wrenches, cash wrap, card slide, protractor, <laughs> rulers, uh, standard and metric, and I think that's it. So, the issue I have with this is that if you're using this as a wallet, right, and let's say you want to use one of the tools, you have to take your stuff out, you know, like let's say you want to use the wrench, you know, in the middle here. Um, you probably have to take your, your stuff out and you get your cash, what, just shove it in your pocket and your cards. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things. This, uh, like I said, for what it is, it might be good quality. It's just overall, it's gimmicky to me. So that's not, like I said, exciting at all, but this stuff is very exciting. All right, so let's see what we got here with this Wubin. Cool box. And it is taped. So we're gonna need a knife again. All right, let's get a little, little slip there, little slip there, little slip there, and on the other side. I think that's it. Let's leave the knife out again. See if I can launch it. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know. I, <laughs> they got me. They got me on packaging. I uh, normally don't care, but that's kind of a cool box. All right, so what is this? This is the Wubin X3, white and red light. Okay, I haven't actually heard about this one before. So this is a total new surprise, although I do like funky different things. Looks like we have a magnet here. Is that a magnet? Yes, it is. Pretty strong magnet. All right, we got, looks like two different LEDs on the front there. We do have a little um, display as well, which might show power. Let's see. Let's get in here, start pushing buttons. Button is on top. Nice uh, pocket clip on it as well. 
I don't know if it has to get charged. Any long press? All right, long press. It shows it's locked. All right. So let's do one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There we go. Four. Four did it. it says number one. Hold down. Interesting. Double click. I don't know if that's high or not. 700 lumens. I dig these because these types of lights, they're like little technological marvels, you know? You get a round flashlight, you push the big button on the back, it goes on. That's cool. I'm just kind of a sucker for uh, like a little digital screen. It just seems like, I don't know, a cooler device. It doesn't seem like it'd be a flashlight, right? So anyway, obviously, there's tons of modes that I don't know about, so I'm going to have to play with that in a little bit. But right now, I want to play with this knife. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about here. Big fan of Best Tech. Make awesome stuff. Let me shove this in this bag. And hang on a second. Also grabbing the other garbage. Before that floats away on me. It is windy out. All right, Best Tech P or P B T twenty three zero six B. That means nothing to me. That does mean something to me. The Sin S Y N. Uh, although I don't recognize the name. It's easier to remember a name than a model number. I'll wiggle this out of the box. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. Made their classic uh, little pouch here. All right. What is the sin all about? A decal. Stay sharp. I like that. That's cool. I dig it. Our cloth. I have five million, you know, cleaning cloths. <laughs> Thanks to uh, 5 million Chinese knives. Ooh, ooh. All right. I like this. Right off the bat, this uh, this funky blade that's going on here. So let's open this up. All right. That is pretty neat looking. We have my car to here. We do have, I want to say it's a frame lock. Ooh, LMAX steel, which is written on the underside of that blade. All right, so yeah, I mean, I say frame lock because, yeah, there's a scale here, but it's not really covering the lock fully. I don't know, what do you guys think? Liner lock, frame lock, doesn't really matter. It locks up. Um, fit and finish looks really, like, superb on this guy. Um, I dig it. For all the people out there who enjoy something different, something new, that is pretty cool. That's awesome. I mean, uh, I'm a huge fan of LMAX as well. And that's something I don't really talk about too much. Um, I've had many, many knives with LMAX over the years. I don't know if I've ever really focused specifically on it before. Uh, I do prefer it on folders over fixed blades. Because I've had um, a Bussy Combat with uh, LMAX. I wasn't a huge fan of it. And actually, it broke and I had to get reprofiled. And I believe some of you might remember that video. But on folders, fantastic. I mean, this thing really feels like a razor blade. Go ahead and do a little cut test. Let's put this knife away. Actually, we'll do a cut test afterwards. How about that? Let's close this for now. Take a look at our paperwork, then we'll cut it up. That's always fun. All right. So, for October, the Best Tech Sin 279 is full retail on that. It says the Sin is Best Tech Knives is a, excuse me, the Sin by Best Tech Knives is a medium sized folding knife with a sophisticated design. It is perfect for an evening out. So, I don't, sometimes you gotta love marketing. Uh, perfect for an, an evening out. I mean, I don't know. Anything would be fine, I guess, for an evening out, unless you have like a Voyager, you know, X2 or something. You know, I don't know. You can't bring your katana on a date. But hey, teach their own, I suppose. Um, it features a 3.57 inch cleaver style blade crafted from LMAX stainless steel, making it ideal for various slicing and chopping tasks. Uh, it has a frame lock. Oh, so they're saying frame lock, so I'll go with that. With my car to handles and titanium bolsters, it has a tip-up carrying uh, position and weighs slightly over four ounces. All right, so that would obviously be for the premium box. The standard box, you'd get the Night Eyes RFID blocking wallet slash multi-tool. All right, RFID, that's kind of a, I don't know, a little bit of a bonus, I suppose, on that. But the Wubin, and that's the X3 Lightock, Lightock, Lightock. Owl. You guys tell me. What, how's that pronounced? Right here. Lytic? Lytoc? I'm going to say Lytic. 
light account. 10999. We're very excited to get this light in our EDC uh, club member's hands. The Wubin X3 is a multifunctional flashlight that has a dual high CRI LEDs with a maximum 700 lumen output. output. God, I'm tongue tied today. And I'm also distracted because there's a <laughs> there's a little chipmunk that's just watching what I'm doing. Just This thing is ballsy. It's getting really close. All right, now he ran away. He's curious. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing on my lawn, man? All right, so CRI, uh, I'm going to talk about that, I think, in a separate video, because that's something I get questions on occasionally, and it has to do with the coloration on lights. Uh, essentially, the simplest way to put it is, is seeing true color when you're shining a light on something. All right, but we'll maybe get into detail in the future on that. Anyway, maximum 700 lumen output. All right, so that was on the max before when I was testing it. Uh, an 80 lumen red light and a maximum runtime of 50 hours on the low setting. The head rotates 180 degrees to allow the uh, allow you to adjust the angle according to your needs with a magnetic base that allows uh, hands for use. Includes an aluminum charging box that doubles as a diffuser. Cool. To get the flashlight in and out of locked out mode, press four times. We figured that out. Uh, hold down the button when the flashlight is off to access the red LED. All right, so we're going to take a look at this light. But first, of course, we have our promised little cut test here. I'm not going to cut this all the way off because I don't want to pick up a bunch of little... Oh, I didn't, didn't want to do that. I don't want all these little pieces going everywhere. Hang on. Hang on, technical difficulties. All right. I mean, it's just ridiculous out of the box, as you would expect. All right. Put that garbage back in the bag. Take a look at this light again. Adjustable head. This thing says it rotates, right? This way? Ooh. Oh. Wow. Okay, so we have a 90 degree turn. And in unison with this uh, clip here, I actually turn it on. You can clip this, let's say, on the front of a strap in a backpack or something. Then you have that 90 degree head so it can project straight out. Or if you want to put it on the front of your belt or something, whatever. Maybe you're walking down and you want to be hands-free. But you rotate it. And so now it's more of a traditional flashlight where, you know, you, in this particular grip, it's easy to, to use. That is pretty darn cool. One lumen. It says from off, long press, we got our red. Whoop. Try that again. Is it just one mode? No. Cycles through one or 80 lumens. I guess you get, you know, just two low, two modes with the uh, the red. That's pretty cool. I dig that. Let's see what the aluminum case is. It looks like it maybe charges through the side. Whoa, hello. Earthquake. Sorry about that. Completely just bumped into the tripod. All right. Pull. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very interesting. It's cooler and cooler as we go. Wow, look at this thing. All right, so charging port, little feet on the bottom, so it sits upright. Hinges, let's see. Uh oh, do I have to take the pot clip off? I'll be honest, I'll be a little bummed if you have to take the pot clip off. No, we don't. Jeez, what is this, the future? And we can use it? Can we use it while it's in there too? What is this? Nope. Oh no, it's actually showing that it's charging. I got the sun in my eyes. I don't know if you guys have the sun, but what's that say? 80% and charging? Dude, I love this thing. This thing is actually really, really neat. Oh, it's on. I put it on an accident. Okay. I don't need it on while we're using But that's actually nice to know that you can actually use this thing while it's charging. So we have basically a charging station. Very, very cool. I dig this thing. Like a lot. Let's go on the bottom here. Is this pull out or do something? I don't know. I gotta, I gotta read the instructions. So yeah, the Wubin X3. Little, little golf clap. That, uh, that's kind of winning me over. I think that's uh, pretty neat. Uh, I use a lot of flashlights constantly like constantly testing flashlights i do so much flashlight stuff off camera you guys don't even see 
Um, and I get really excited when there's something that's actually unique because round lights that just go on and off, I mean, you know, they work. It's gear. It's just like, I guess knives can be boring to people sometimes too. Um, but this is cool. It's cool because it's unique and it's different. So very excited about that. So that's all. That is this month's uh, Going Gear Club. Can't believe it. October 2023. Where does the time go? Before we know, it's going to be snowing. It's going to be Christmas. Well, it's probably Christmas first. Then it'll be snowing because of our weird weather. And not to get to a whole thing, but, you know, the earth, it goes through cycles and stuff. So, you know, eventually it'll just be like 80 degrees in, in December, you know, and it'll snow in the middle of July. That's just how it goes. But anyway, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.